So I've been looking for a good pair of boots. I picked these up at Cabela's this past weekend. These are a pair of Irish Setter uh, Gunflint 1000 gram Thinslet. They're leather boots with Condora sides. Uh, they're waterproof. They have a 10 inch tall uh, boot. They weigh two and a half pounds each. And the main thing that I was attracted to on these was the construction of them. You can see the uh, stitching along the sole of these. It's like the old style stitching of the old work boots. It looks like a combination or a cross between a work boot and a hunting boot. Um, I actually was looking um, for something with more thin slit than these. I've, I've actually been researching boots uh, off and on for about five years. I know that seems a little bit ridiculous, but I'm kind of obsessive about these kind of things. I had an old pair of boots I've been using, and every year I kept saying I was going to replace them, but uh, I just never did. The price of boots are kind of expensive, so I just kind of kept making do. This year I finally decided I was going to go ahead and do it, um, and I was looking at boots that had the most thinsulate. So there's actually, um, I think it's uh, Snow Tracker Extremes, what they're called. They're made by Irish Setter as well, um, and they had 2,000 grams of thinsulate. So I wanted to compare them to these boots, but Cabela's didn't stock those. So I had them order them so I could look at the two side by side. And once I had them both side by side, I actually decided I prefer these. Um, these provide a lot of support for my foot right in this area right here. They're very stiff and provide some good support. On the Snow Tracker Extremes, they seemed bulkier in here and probably to allow for all that thinsulate and softer. So they just didn't support the foot quite as well, uh, at least my foot. Also, they didn't have this heavy duty stitching along the sole, which I, I just really love that. Um, the snow trackers and most of the boots I've actually been looking at have the more modern uh, where the sole is molded to the leather um, and it has some stitching but not this kind of stitching to it. So I just wasn't quite as impressed with those. Um, so I went with these. These cost $120. The uh, snow tracker extremes were $170. So these were about $50 cheaper, but it really wasn't price that drove me. It was I was just more impressed with these. I'd also uh, looked at Danner. Um, Lacrosse, Rocky, and some of the house brands like uh, Cabela's, Gander Mountain, uh, Bass Pro Shops, and you know their off-brand stuff. And these Irish Setter were the ones I was most impressed with. I'd read a lot of good reviews about them, and they've been making hunting boots for a long time. They're actually owned by Red Wing now, who've been making work boots for a long time. Um, they've got really good um, traction, as you can see. Um, I'm planning on treating the leather with a combination of wax and silicon probably a couple times a year to make sure the leather doesn't start absorbing moisture. Uh, that's the way to protect them and make sure they last a long time. I'll do another review later in the year, like after winter's over, or maybe sometime during the winter, after I've had a chance to use them in some more extreme conditions. I want to do this review now so you can see them before they get caked with mud and dirt and all scuffed up. Um, I know how hard it is when you're looking at still images of boots online try to get an idea of what they're like. Until you actually hold them and try them on and, and see them up close, um, you really don't know what they are. This obviously won't help you trying them on or holding them, but you get a chance to maybe see them up close, see the construction of them and some of the things that I was really impressed with. Um, they've got a, a speed lace, which most boots have these days. Uh, these are very sturdy. And they've only got three uh, of the speed loops, so they're very quick to put back on. And they, when you cinch them up tight, they just really fit around the ankle and foot really well. Um, so I hope this review has been of some use to you and was informative. Uh, like I said, I will do another review a little bit later on, but um, until then, just stay safe. Thanks for watching.